everybody, welcome back to Rain and Pause. I'm Mitch and I'm doing another set of coasters. And I just did a set of these coasters with a white background and now I'm going to try it on a black background to see if we get a different result. So I'm using the same colour scheme as the last video and the last colour scheme was this little piggy constellation, this little piggy sapphire, this little piggy aphrodite mixed with Australian red violet. Um, this little piggy Athena, this little piggy Latte, Matisse Midnight Blue, and a gold cell activator. So those are all my colours just there. And the only difference is we're going to use a black pillow. So I'm going to do a couple of swipes and a couple of blooms on this, and we're going to see how different the result is. Now I prefer to use this little piggies over a black background. I just prefer a black background in general. I think it's um more visually appealing for me uh, however a white background does have its place and i do get a lot of orders for uh, white so we're going to start off with our black pillow and the one that i prefer here in australia is the torbman's exterior uh, sorry the british paints exterior low sheen four seasons protect in black so this comes already tinted black you don't have to do anything to it and i'm just going to add a little bit more here and I like this one because it's the perfect consistency straight out of the, the tin. And I never have any problems with this drying. It's got really good bubble release as well. So even if you do happen to shake it or stir it, uh, the bubbles tend to pop a lot easier on this. So to start off, I'm going to layer on my midnight blue in this corner. And I'm starting a little bit in from the corner so that when I swipe uh, that's going to drag all of the paint further that way. And I'm not being too precise with placement. I've got this little piggy sapphire. That was constellation that I put down first. We've got the Aphrodite mixed with the red violet. Athena. Latte. And then our gold cell activator. So our gold cell activator is Matisse Metallic Gold and a little bit of Perlex Nox Gold mixed in to make it a bit deeper. And we're just going to give it a funky swipe. So when you're swiping, I always try to do a, an interesting pattern so that the swipe is not just straight up and down, down the center of the uh, coaster. However, that doesn't always work out well, um, and a straight swipe can sometimes look just as nice. So I'm just blowing out my cell activator here, hoping that it's going to develop a little bit better. I've already got some really nice cells forming along the edge here. Um, I do find with the black pillow as well, I do get some nicer cells forming. So what's happened is my pillow has gotten into the paints and around some of my cells I've actually got black ringing those cells, which is really, really cool. Um, even though I didn't use any black uh, in my colors. So a couple of things I always notice when I'm using a black background versus a white one, especially with pigments, is the pigments always stand out much better because they can shimmer and shine away and the white isn't going to distract from that. Uh, I always get a deeper, more vibrant color over a black background. And if I'm using uh, chameleon or color shift pigments uh, or interference pigments even, uh, they always work so much better over a black background just because of the nature of the pigments. Got some really nice cell distribution on this one. Just going to move this off to that side. I want to spread out that negative. Oop! And that's exactly what happens. If you uh, spin too fast and you've tilted your thing offside and it landed upside down. So we're going to redo that one. I was actually quite happy with that design too. That's a shame. Okay. <laughs> Now, I'm going to keep that in the video because shit happens. You just got to go with it. Now I've got black paint everywhere. So the one thing I hate about using black paint is once it gets everywhere, it is literally everywhere. I'm just going to cover up that massive splodger that I've got. And let's start again. Just trying to wipe off as much off my hand as I can. 
uh, the one thing I do find with this paint because it is perfect texture straight out of the bottle it is much more slippery so when you do tilt uh, push these offside if you're going to uh, extend the bloom or anything off to one direction it is more slippery so it is more likely to fly off like it just did I'm going to start a little bit further in with this one so that my colors don't slide off the edge too much And before I do every color layer, I'm stirring and checking my colors to make sure that they are still in the right consistency and that they're going to swipe nicely together. So with swipes, you don't have to be as 100% uh, accurate with your consistency. They can be slightly different because you're applying all the pressure. However, if you are blowing them out, you do need to be very accurate with your consistencies as the blooms won't work as well if they're all different. So let's just try a straight swipe this time. And again, wiping off my wipe tool after every use so that the paint doesn't dry on there and I don't get really ugly color combinations happening in the cell activator. So the straight swipe tends to give much more cells a lot quicker, but I like the look of the swirly, squiggly patterns. Just gives a bit more interest. Spin this out. I'm going to off center my paint. I'm not going to move the <laughs> paint off like I did before, the tile off center. I'm just going to move the center of the weight. Yeah, that's looking really, really cool. So I'm going to show you this one. We have some really nice deep dark colors there. And then when you tilt it to the side, you get the full effect of Athena color shift there. Um, so it's rose gold and then when you tilt it sideways you get a really full-on gold effect and We can see all of the gorgeous shimmery sparkle of all of those pigments there. You can see sapphire is so incredibly deep and dark and blue And all of those colors play really nicely So this one reminds me of a planet the surface of a planet there. I don't know which planet, but the Cell pattern and everything just makes it look like a storm on maybe Jupiter or something like that so That's really cool Let's try another one. Let's try a bloom for this one. So I'm going to do an off-center bloom and see how the pigment reacts over a black base compared to a white one. Uh, as we saw in the last video, over a white base, you tend to see all of the pigment particles uh, as they're blown out, especially with the bigger, uh, bigger particle pigments, such as sapphire. So on a black base, it doesn't look like individual pigments. It looks more like sparkles. layering all my colors up now if you'd like to learn how to do the Shelly Art Bloom technique you can follow the link in the description below or take that at shellyart.com.au and if you use my discount code shellyart15mgrimer you'll get 15% off the course and if you want to buy the this little piggy pigments you can find them at fluid-art.co added my cell activator now let's blow this out I feel like doing it this way, there's always a lot of wastage. A lot of pigment gets blown off the side, but it's sort of necessary waste. Just waiting a couple of seconds for the cells to develop. So because I'm using a gold cell activator, the gold uh, and metallic cell activators do take a little bit longer to develop than normal black and white cell activators. So if you're finding that your metallics aren't growing cells as quickly as they usually do as your other cell activators, that would be why because they do take a little bit longer to develop. Let's 
give this a spin. Distribute that paint. I like this. I really like this. The Athena over black is just totally different to what it looks like over white, as are all the other colours for that matter. And once these are all dry and I've got a coat of resin on them, I'll try and put them side by side if I remember to do that. And I'll show you that in a different video. Because it does take a couple of weeks for these to dry, for the resin to be ready. And I always wait about three weeks before I apply... Sorry. I always wait about one week before I apply any resin. Um, I find that's plenty with my tiles. And I've never had any issues with paint cracking or anything underneath. here we go with the swipe look at that look at how gorgeous that Athena is that's that color in the top here Up here all of those other gorgeous colors playing nicely look at those deep blue cells down the bottom so I really like this color combination so I'm gonna continue making coasters I'll record everything and just put everything in fast forward and we'll come back at the end and have a look Just jumping in here just layering this one up i didn't add any of the matisse midnight blue because i'm not noticing it in the pores with the black background it's just a bit too dark so i've left that out and i'm just going with all of my other colors so it's always important to check when you're doing your pores that all of your colors are getting included and if they're not if you're not seeing them don't bother including them because it would just be wasting paint. So if you're losing a color or if you're seeing too much of one, try reducing the amount that's in there or removing it entirely. So these next two blooms that I'm going to do to complete my set of eight, I'm going to do in a Nikki Hussey style. Uh, Nikki's a good friend of mine. She lives up in um, in Brisbane. So thanks, Nikki, for being such an inspiration to so many people. She's done some amazing work. And 
recently she's been doing her minimalist flower blooms where she puts the cell activator in a line underneath the bloom and then blows it out and then creates some really lovely petals so I just tried one then and I really liked how that looked so I'm going to recreate that so just layering all my pigments on top of each other again these are all little piggies I've got no tube paints in here so these are all piggy blooms and again, just putting my cell activator in a line underneath, and I'm going to blow that out over the top. So I did blow into my pillow there a little bit. So things aren't looking as great as what they did the first time around, but I've got one more tile to do for this set, so maybe I'll redeem myself on the next one. They're not as easy as what she makes them look, I can tell you that. Let's even out this paint and see what sort of cells we're going to get with this one. My cell activator is a bit manky down the bottom there. Like I said, I did screw up the blowout just a little bit. It's not quite as soft as what I would like, so I'm just going to fold this over. I'm going to add a little bit more pillow paint, and we're going to go again. I also think I started a bit too close to the edge, so I was just worried about things going off the pillow before I could do anything. So I'm just going to bloom straight down the middle. I put it over the cell, over the pillow instead of the colours. So instead, what I did there, put some more cell activator over my colours because when you put it just over the pillow, you're not going to actually blow any cell activator over your colours. You're just going to blow your colours into your pillow. That's why the other one didn't work. Just trying to soften up the lines a little bit. This is much better looking now. Now, rather than have this spiderweb, cobwebby look that's a bit centered. I'm going to push that off center and try and stretch out the softer parts of the bloom and push that cell activator pattern off the corner. I don't want to get rid of it completely. I still want to keep some of those cells. But I mostly want that really nice soft spread of pigment. Looking lovely. Okay, and I've got one more tile to finish off this set. So I'm going to try that again. Lesson learned is don't put the cell activator over the pillow. Put it over your colours.
I'm going to try and aim for the cell activator down here over the colors. And then I'm going to blow that out. Better. Yeah, there is a clump of pigment there, so I'm just going to remove that. Okay. Much better. Much better, much more like Mickey's style. I even got the little Hayland that she normally draws in or um, swipes in with the swipe tool. Now I'm just going to soften up this line in the middle. A bit better. It's not so harsh now. And you can tell this time the cell activator is more focused to the corner and I didn't have to shift the tile off center to do that. Just going to, I am going to shift it slightly off center just to move the middle bit of paint. So it flattens out and dries nicely. Is the last tile that I have to do for this color combo. So I really really like these. I'm thinking I may embellish these with some sort of space themed um, embellishments. I don't know what yet. I might cut out some uh, planets or print out some planets to put in there. We'll just see what happens. As usual guys if you like what I'm doing here don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!